One thing that I've been doing my own research on recently is looking into the AI products on the market to help with outbound. There's a lot of sales tools out there, outbound marketing tools that are leveraging AI. And the one that I'm most interested in recently that I'm hearing a lot about is Clay. I first was introduced to them and heard about them through Market One. So shout out to them. But since then, I've seen some key people on LinkedIn who have talked about using Clay and how powerful it can be. I decided to do my own research. As operators, it's just so hard to keep up with all the tools out there. So I wanted to share in just a few minutes my key takeaways on Clay so far. They are early on in their journey as a company. So of course, this is going to likely become outdated. But from what I've seen and use cases and using the tool and even logging into myself, this is my first initial take. So one, Clay is just like a middleware between like your tools for outbound campaigns. But it's great for figuring out ways where you can put more intelligence into prioritizing uh, data and also getting more personalized data that you can use for outbound campaigns. So it's hard to stand out when you're doing outbound right now. And if it's not finding people at the right time, those who are really good fit or showing signals or, and also on top of that, like be personalized, it's very hard to make it successful. I will say that the target market for using Clay is that you are likely targeting people who have a strong web presence, or also those contacts are also present on LinkedIn and have data that can easily be found on the web. So if you're going after a very niche, like old market that has no web presence, not a good fit. But for the majority of the companies that CS2 we, we work with, it still seems like a good tool. And the second thing to note is it's not a tool that you can just go in and start using really easily unless you are technical. And there's a few things that you probably want to be comfortable with. So one is just data, being knowing what the data sources are, all the data tools and how to use them. So an operator by default. Uh, the second is you likely want to be comfortable with prompting AI the better you are at prompting and knowing the series of steps of how to prompt an AI agent, the better results that you're going to have with leveraging it. And then the third thing, if you want to go even further to get a lot of the use out of it, is if you have someone who's even more technical, so has experience with APIs, coding and development like JSON, or at, at a min minimum leveraging AI and the prompting on that. So I already said that, but like that person might be in the case to be able to do all three. From a use case perspective, I do think that Clay can be really great for companies who have a huge ICP. They go after small, medium business. They want to whittle that down to subsets of companies that they can uh, go after for outbound campaigns. So it's a little bit different than ABM where maybe your ICP is small. You have key large accounts you're going to go after and you have a high contract value that can come with that. I feel like this is still for folks who are targeting a lot of companies and you want to use data to edit that down. Now there's probably other use cases still for ABM enterprise, but I see that this is the most useful for that. And so the key thing is you can actually connect it to all your data sources and only pull the data when you need to, so that can save money. You can also use Clay's enrichment data and just pay for that. So that can be really cost-effective and you can just pull in lists that then don't have to go into CRM right away. So as we know, a lot of time when you create lists within Zoom Info, it's like a huge list. You only have a few key factors that you can filter on, like industry, company size, so forth. That doesn't always give you just a great list to go after. There's a lot of false positives there. So using Clay, you can actually add on and use AI to take that set of data and whittle it down to companies who have certain messaging on their website, companies who maybe even have certain news that might be coming up. Some companies who only have people with certain titles on LinkedIn, and that'll help whittle down those lists even more to be a better target for you. And also pulling in data that just isn't available within those sources, or it's hard to tell. Even be able to see if there's like a complex sale. Is it a B2B company, B2C? Is it B2B, B2C? So that's one use case is just really around the data piece and doing that onto contacts as well, finding the right contacts and using the sources like LinkedIn. And the second thing is doing personalization for content at scale. This is hard. Um, outbound is hard. And the key thing here, I would say, is you still would want some person intervention, I think. Because the thing is with outbound, you don't want it to be a gimmick, but you want some personalization to try and inject into those campaigns. I feel like using some type of signals that you can find on the company that you can then reach out to a compelling event. There was a 
someone that moved jobs, someone who the account is maybe investing in certain area, like building hospitals or whatnot, that could all be something that you can personalize your messaging around. We could do this all at scale and then take that and then insert into a token or a variable into emails, into outreach or whatever tool you're using. So that's what I find most useful right now is doing that at scale. But I do think we need to figure out like what's actually going to be useful and get into that person's inbox and get them interested and still be relevant to them versus just trying to be gimmicky. So that's my initial take so far. I'll probably have more comments on it as I start to use it. Maybe have clients using it. Would love to hear any of the use cases that you have or projects that you've been doing using Clay and if you've been getting value out of it.